very good afternoon guys well I just fancied a brew it's been raining for two or three days so say hello yeah. yeah it's been raining for two or three days and I've had quite a bit of time off last couple of days and I've been wanting to uh, go out and try my new brew kit stroke cook kit with a frying pan so who else, who else the best to bring along but you guys no point in sharing keeping all these ideas to yourself and little tips and tricks if you're not going to share them it's probably nothing new to you guys but i've got a bit of a classic stove which is a simon stove alcohol uh 12 centimeter billy can and a few other little bits i'll bring you back in a bit right so i just got to me where one of my little favorite spots which is under this um well there's two old yew trees two main ones but i love this old guy i'm just here i'm just gonna flip you around and show you because you will appreciate it as i say i'm just at the old yew tree Amazing trees, not sure if you know much about them, but I'm fascinated by them and I'm just waiting on the right piece of deadfall because I don't have many yew trees around me to uh, season it and hopefully try and make a longbow. A lovely old tree. I'll just show you the uh, leaves on this one. That's a typical yew. You always got to be careful when handling these. Don't mistake them for small pine needles because they are poisonous. Literally every part of it is poisonous. Apart from the berries, I believe, but I'd rather just leave it be, to be honest. You know, when I do come to... When I do come to be uh, working on one, if I ever get a nice... Um, you know, log to work on, it will be masks, gloves keep very clean you know from the dust and stuff like that but yeah i'll bring you in what we're here for my uh new cook kit so what we've got is the 12 centimeter zebra billy can this is the plastic clip version so you've got to be aware of those when using them on fires but you can just take them off so that's my full contained cook kit bale handle falls down you know for transporting nice lid then inside, which is very, very nifty, I can get her out. Oh, bugger, I forgot I've got my windshield in there. Right. You get a frying pan. I've just got my folding titanium spark, a lighter, and some alcohol. Then inside, I've got my new old bit of kit. I love my classic kit, which is a Simon stove. I'll get that set up and show you. The Optimus windshield and then there I think they're about however it's got to be about a litre of that 1.2 litres or something but yeah, I'll get it set up I'll bring you back and show you all uh, set up so this is the Simon stove this is the original the old one you can still buy them uh, do not even have the spring retaining springs but these fold in Sorry guys, I haven't got my tripod with me today. Get your little cap to extinguish. You can even store your bits and bobs in there if you want to. Yeah, we'll get it all settled and well that's it with the, like the frying pan. That's it with the billy can on. Perfect size. And obviously very quiet. Right, I'll get it set up. See if I can get it primed because I've not actually used this yet and see what she uh, cooks like there she is in bloom it seems to be working well so you can find some bargains with these old vintage stoves do you know they're just they've been used for years there's no moving parts on them they just work i think this was about 20 pound posted off a uh, bushcraft trade post yeah very interesting <laughs> 